link up with them at uh, around 1 p.m. that is on weekend at 1. Now University of Nairobi Vice Chancellor Professor Stephen Kiama and the university's academic staff union WASU have entered a deal that will see the reforms introduced last year implemented without much friction among stakeholders to unlock the impasse WASU withdrew all court cases against the university, effectively serving Professor Kiyama a jail term. And as Shadrach Mitu reports, the consent between the two parties means WASU's demand to have reforms undertaken by involving all stakeholders and lecturers' demand to have their representation in the university senate have been considered. Yeah, the University of Nairobi Council Chairperson Professor Julia Ojambo announced structural and administrative reforms at the university. The university's top decision-making organ said the move had been occasioned by the need to ensure sustainability. However, soon after that announcement, university's academic staff union UASO challenged the reforms in court. The only issue that uh, was pending was whether they have been Involved. Wasu, through its lawyer Titus Koseo, moved to court seeking to overturn the proposed reforms and a permanent injunction to the implementation of the same. The court granted prayer sought. However, after the university disobeyed the orders, Wasu filed contempt of court proceedings against Professor Stephen Kiyama, who was found guilty on December 10, 2021, and he was expected to appear for sentencing on January 27, 2022. And in what looks like a win-win situation for all, Professor Kiyama climbed down and invited Uwasu on board, effectively ending the stalemate that also threatened to send the university boss to jail after the union agreed to withdraw all the cases against the university boss. Uwasu Secretary General Konstantin Wasonga said the withdrawal of all the cases against Vice Chancellor was as a result of wide consultations. Yeah, it is over. I was a complainer. Now I'm not complaining. <laughs> we have been talking and talking, and uh, yesterday was a culmination of those discussions. And we agreed that it is important to restructure the university. Because you cannot have a structure that is not serving the students and the staff. <laughs> In a six-page agreement, was agreed to drop all court cases against Professor Kiyama, even as the VC retained the old structure, but only to go ahead with reforms through agreed-upon structures. The compromise was the National Office of Uwasu, and this, he was here, he, he, together with the whole office, and they said they have decided to withdraw that case. Because you see, even the court had said that uh, we have to freeze those things, we don't even process those documents any further. So now we have agreed and they are going to go to say, so then things now start, they have released the university now. In the July 2021 changes, the University of Nairobi Council had abolished five offices of the deputy vice chancellors and replaced them with two positions of the associate vice chancellors. Also abolished were all constituent colleges besides reducing faculties from 35 to 11. There are certain things they, they proposed and which we have uh, accepted. They said that, uh, for example, they would like to elect their deans. Okay? They don't want the dean to be appointed through another method. They want the dean, even if you are going to appoint, at least they have elected. All the parties have agreed that the reforms continue. Yes. Yes. And they have no other issue with the reforms that we are implementing. Shadrach Miti, KT News. Thank you, Shadrach Miti, with our report. It is from that story that we come to the end of News Center, but don't go too far.